Hi there, I'm Ashley Sides, and I want to welcome you to the 25th anniversary season of Sandwiching in History with the Arkansas Historic Preservation Program. For the first program of this year, we have come to the city of Benton to visit the Saline County Courthouse. This is the third county courthouse that stood here in Benton, but after 120 years, I'd say this one's a keeper. It cost $31,000 in 1902 and was designed by Charles L. Thompson of Little Rock, one of the most prominent and prolific architects in Arkansas during the late 19th century and the first half of the 20th. Thompson's firm designed some 15 courthouses around the state in addition to other buildings and houses, and he worked with a great variety of styles. Thompson designed the Saline County Courthouse in the Romanesque Revival style. This style had become popular in America in the late 19th century and was especially fitting for a public building like a courthouse. Taking cues from early medieval European architecture, the Romanesque Revival style typically features broad, rounded, often low arches and masonry construction, which conveys a sense of weightiness, solidity, and permanence. Qualities that people want their government or justice system to embody. The Saline County Courthouse also features other typical characteristics of the Romanesque Revival. The truncated hipped roof has complex roof planes and gabled as well as hipped dormers, which in places punctuate the eave line. Towers stand at all four corners of the building, but they create asymmetry with their different heights and shapes. Both two-story towers on the north side are square, but the southwest tower is octagonal. The real focal point, though, is the southeast clock tower. Whereas the other three towers are two stories high, like the rest of the courthouse, this one has four stories, plus a clock chamber and a belfry. The courthouse was completed in 1902, and court was first held here in September of that year. In 1903, a one-story wing was added to the north side to serve as a jail. A major renovation project in 1939 also expanded the courthouse with an addition to the south for new Depression-era government agencies. You can see this boxy structure with an arched entrance in historical photographs, but that wing was later removed. The northern wing with the jail had been expanded in 1983, but today the jail is located on Neely Street and the north wing has been converted to county offices. Although the interior of the courthouse has been updated over the years, Many features remain from the original 1902 construction. Fireplaces in some of the offices recall the days before central heating. Sanborn fire insurance maps indicate that these were gas rather than wood burning. Between the first and second floor are staircases with dark wood turned balusters and turned drops on square newels. The penny tile flooring on the ground floor is original. But the upstairs tiling needed replacement and was faithfully reproduced in 2014 thanks to a $25,000 grant from the AHPP. Each tile in these floors is painstakingly laid by hand. The courtroom has been modernized and reconfigured somewhat, but still generally corresponds to the original layout, with the public gallery sloping down from the back wall under the east windows toward the middle of the room. The jury box is still against the other exterior wall, but several windows behind it have been walled off. And the judge's bench has been relocated to the corner, whereas Thompson's original design had it centered along the far wall. The upper floors of the clock tower are purely functional. Above the courthouse's roof level, the clock chamber houses a four-faced clock built by E. Howard and Company of Boston, Massachusetts. The Howard Clock Company was renowned for manufacturing high-quality clocks and watches from the mid-19th century and well into the 20th. They were especially known for their luxury watches, regulators, wall clocks, and tower clocks. Public buildings around the country feature their clocks. The Saline County Courthouse is one of their hour-striking models designed specially for clock towers. It was originally hand-cranked but was retrofitted by the manufacturer in the 1940s to run on electricity. From time to time, a part needs to be replaced, and repairs require a historic clock specialist. 
That's its current status, and Saline County Judge Jeff Airy believes the repairs will be completed soon. The floor above the clock chamber is the belfry, with the bell connected to the clock to chime the hours when the clock is working. A shaft running down one corner of the tower from the belfry used to contain chains reaching to the judge's office to manually ring the bell, but the chains have since been removed and the hole in the judge's ceiling has been closed up. In the first floor hallway of the courthouse, you'll find symbols of what makes Saline County unique. There's an exhibit of Niloke pottery, which was a high quality pottery produced in Benton from local kaolin clays in the first half of the 20th century. Nilok is kaolin spelled backwards. It is known for its special mission swirl pattern. But the crown jewel is a 1942 painting called the Bauxite Mines. Bauxite is an ore that yields aluminum, and during the 20th century, this region of Arkansas produced at least 90% of all bauxite mined in the U.S. This mural was painted by a University of Texas art professor from San Antonio, Julius Woltz, and it was actually painted for the old Benton Post Office. It was commissioned in 1941 by the U.S. Treasury Section of Fine Arts as a program under the New Deal to put art in public spaces that celebrates Americans' history and work ethic. Since bauxite mining was one of Saline County's most significant industries, Woltz chose to paint an open pit bauxite mine with workers drilling holes for dynamite and loading boxcars with ore. The background depicts the colorful geological strata that are revealed when the surface layers are stripped away. Ironically, a photo of Woltz at work on this painting appeared in a paper on December 7, 1941, the day the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. As America entered World War II, Saline County's bauxite mines took on an even greater strategic importance as the key source of aluminum needed for the war effort. This mural originally hung in the old Benton Post Office, but was later moved to the Saline County Courthouse. The Saline County Courthouse was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1976 for its architectural significance as a representative of the Romanesque Revival style in Arkansas, as well as for its local historic significance as the political and governmental center of Saline County. In 2008, it was also included on the National Register as a contributing property in the Benton Commercial Historic District. As such, it is the oldest building in the historic district. This majestic structure not only serves the needs of the county citizens, it proudly represents what's good about Saline County and its contributions to Arkansas and the world. Our 25th anniversary season of Sandwiching in History continues with a tour of the Hinderleiter House, also known as the Grog Shop, on the grounds of the Historic Arkansas Museum in downtown Little Rock. Now, due to the condition of the building, it's not currently accessible to the public. So join us as we take you on a virtual tour and give you a peek inside. For the rest of our upcoming 2022 program, please visit our website at arkansaspreservation.com.